a bunch of things. And that wasn't my intent. I didn't plan on doing that because I already have a lot of fall decorations. But as I was looking at the items, I thought of DIYs that I could do, either for fall or after fall. And so I went ahead and it's like, it's a dollar. So I went ahead and purchased it because the thing that I got from the Dollar Tree is like the base, like that I'm going to transform or decorate and obviously share that with you guys because that is what I love to do. So I'm gonna go through, first off, what I got at Hobby Lobby, which wasn't very much. Um, because a lot of the things that you see at Hobby Lobby are kind of duplicated um, at the Dollar Tree. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday on my Instagram stories at Crafty Life Mom, I actually showed, uh, show, show, showed some videos of me going through some of the aisles at Hobby Lobby. And I kid you not, there was at least two signs, if not three or four, that the Hobby Lobby version is maybe like this big. The Dollar Tree version is this big. The exact same print or the exact same sign. So let me show you first what I got from Hobby Lobby. And a lot of it was just some farmhouse decor. They had a, um, I'll start with the paper. So they had a special on their paper where you get four sheets for a dollar. So I always pick up a couple of sheets that are seasonal and I always pick up some sheets that are um, like farmhouse. So I saw this actual paper on a DIY that I believe it was Ele Kristen Electric did um, and I will link her YouTube channel below to show you but this is um, a beautiful paper and I actually have a DIY for something that I'm going to be creating and I loved this paper so I picked up a sheet of that and then I picked up this thankful fall paper um, along with it I don't really have an idea for it but I just liked the colors in it the teal popping out it just spoke to me so I went ahead and I purchased that one as well then I kind of just stuck to my favorites my neutral colors I got a cotton print and a black and white polka dot print for a quarter a piece, you can't beat it. And I'm sure that there'll be some DIY that I'm going to be doing in the future with this one. I've seen the other cotton print before, but I haven't seen the white and black, like gray tone one. So I thought that was really pretty and decided to pick it up. Then of course I picked up a couple of the Buffalo check sheets of paper. I have several of these sheets of paper. I have um, done several different DIYs with it. I've even made a whole farmhouse recipe binder and I'm kind of in love with Buffalo check even though it's been the theme in people's homes for about a year or two. I know people are starting to get a little tired of it and move on from it. Um, I haven't decided if I am or not. So with that being said, I actually picked up some farmhouse Buffalo check or black and white pattern check um, boxes. These were on clearance for a dollar 50, I want to say I'm not sure about that a dollar fifty and so they're originally five bucks So for three dollars, I picked up two of them. I thought they were super adorable So I may stack them. I don't know around my home or maybe like under the Christmas tree is like, you know A pretend present until I put presents out. I don't know yet. All right Then the next things I picked up this was actually from the fall section. It was 40% off so run to Hobby Lobby if you're into fall, but this one says welcome friends. It's an actual little sign. This could be used year round um, and put on like a tear tray or like I said on your coffee bar. So it was really into like the little things that they had. They had one that said hello fall on it. Super cute. You could get that one as well if you wanted to stick to the fall season. And then I saw this cute little pumpkin sign that actually is fall related it says farm fresh pumpkins it was super cute it was only $3.99 and with 40% off it was like what two dollars and some change so you can't make this so I mean you could obviously but for two bucks like this was super cute and perfect and I think it would look great on a tiered tray or a coffee bar like I said and like I said in my last haul video I do plan to actually do a house tour this year I have never done that I've never posted like all the rooms in my house that I decorate so I plan to at least do that for my two living rooms and my kitchen like my coffee bar area that I decorate for my kids and um, part of the like couch and stuff and how I decorate like our mantle so I do plan to share that this year so stay tuned if that's something you might be interested in okay the last few items that I got from Hobby Lobby was this cute 
Um, it's a Robert Stanley Signature Collection. It just says Hey Pumpkin on it, and it's black and white, neutral theme, and then the back side of it is a buffalo check. And I'll show you, it's a pillow cover, but that is the look of the pumpkin. They had several different options of this, but I just liked this one, so I thought I'd add it to my pumpkin collection. Um, for this year, I kind of want to stick to the more neutral tones and not so much like the vibrant oranges and reds. I do want a little bit of orange in there, but I do want to work in a little bit of green. And then I picked up some base wood um, from like the wood section because I had an idea that I wanted to make and I will share this with you. So um, if you're interested in any kind of little DIYs, you might want to pick up a pack of this. Um, or just check out the section and all and see what kind of ideas you can come up with. And when I get to making those, I will definitely share that with you. So moving on to Dollar Tree. Actually, before I move on, it's August 1st. So for me, this is like the beginning of decorating for fall. I am going to wait until my kids go back to school, like that first day of school. While they're gone, I'm going to change over the house or turn it into fall because it's, it's like the fall season in my mind once August hits and so I enjoy like all of my fall decorations all the way from August through September um, and then in October I bring out like the Halloween so um, before I move on to my Dollar Tree stuff I wanted to share with you the shirt that I'm wearing says pumpkin spice everything nice or no wait I'm sorry pumpkin spice everything is this one and it is like a gold um, pattern on it. I actually have my shirts in my shop at craftylifemom.com and so you can totally order one of these sh shirts if you want to. So check it out. It's made by yours truly and I have fun making fall and Christmas shirts. So I thought I'd wear one today because it is August 1st and it's like the official like first day of fall for me when it comes to decorating. All right. So moving on to what I got from the Dollar Tree, and like my whole table here is full, so I'm gonna be trying to like reach and not bump my camera. Okay, so I found these velvet pumpkins. I was actually stocking them because a lot of other YouTubers had already posted like these pumpkins. They are gorgeous. They came they come in like five or six different colors. Um, I got five colors in all. They are a nice velvet pumpkin. I'm sharing this item with you first because if you're any fit interest, like if you have any interest in this um, pumpkin, you want to run and go get it because yesterday when I went back, they had put these out, but they were gone. So I actually had my Dollar Tree let me get these like a couple of days early. I talked to one of the girls that worked there and she let me get into the back and um, actually had pulled out the boxes of these pumpkins and I bought like 10 of them. Um, when I went back yesterday just to pick up those few things and they had more fall out, there was two of these left in the box. I was shocked. So this is a popular item. It's a brand new item and they are super cute. You guys, these go at Pier 1 for like at least $5. They are beautiful. They are a nice velvet jewel tone. I'm really loving the dark hunter green and this like beige color. Super beautiful pumpkins. Like I love them. This is the teal and here is the orange one. Like how beautiful this is. I Like I said, you, I could totally see a tablescape of these pumpkins. I think I shared these actually right at the end of my last haul video. I'm not even sure right now, but go get them because they will be gone if you don't go in the next day or two. Hopefully, they will restock them, but if not, you need to go. All right, so I also picked up a couple of ribbons for just um, wreath making, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to use all of this, but I went ahead and just grabbed one of each because I really don't have a fall wreath on my door. I've had some in the past and like torn them apart and redone them, but um, I want to make one for this season and I don't know when I will do that. Maybe I will share that, but um, definitely get a few wreath items. They had um, some Halloween items already starting to come out. I am not feeling Halloween yet, so I only picked up, 
I think it was two items. I'm looking at all of my things. I only picked up, no, I'm sorry, three items for Halloween, and I will show them with you here. It's just these cute little um, wooden houses, a trick-or-treat sign, which is actually a kid's craft to do, and I have an idea for this, so I wanted to share with you. And my daughter is in love with kitty cats, so I actually picked up this kid's felt craft kit um, right here, which, here, I'll show you picture of it but it's just a cat silhouette thing um so i picked that up for a few halloween ideas or for my kids to do some crafts so that's the halloween bit of it i'm not a big big fan for halloween but i do decorate it around october 1st for my kids because they love it otherwise if it was just me i would just keep fall out until it's time to decorate for christmas all right so moving on i picked up all the sign things that they had those were out now at the Dollar Tree and so what I have is um, what I'm going to show you is all the things that are like signs and I don't plan to like just fill my home with the signs I plan to use some of them or repurpose them into other decor items so um, I will show you what I picked up but I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to keep as is and which ones I'm going to redo or redecorate. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is, which is kind of a back to school related item, and I wish I would have gotten more than this one because I, after I left, I had so many ideas coming ahead to my mind um, on what to do with this one. So these chalkboard signs are kind of new. Well, I don't know if they had them last year, but they're new to me from Dollar Tree. This is an apple. And it says farm fresh on it locally grown it's beautiful sign like i wouldn't mind having one and keeping it like this and then doing another um diy on it and if you're looking for a back to school item for a teacher and if i have time i will make a video showing what i'm talking about but how cute would this be to make your kids teachers a sign that they can hang on their door year round so basically you would paint over this and then like put mrs whoever like the teacher's name on this apple to like kind of frame or mark the outside door of their classroom this is just a super cute shape i mean look at that here i'll show you the back the shape is super cute and one thing that dollar tree has done with these signs is they have on the back of the jute twine or the burlap string these little plastic things that are kind of holding the string in place that you can easily slip this through the hole to remove the twine so it's like they know we're painting their signs so you can remove it and easily put it back once your project is done so thank you dollar tree i love that all right so they have the apple one and then they obviously they have a pumpkin version which is super cute as well i wouldn't mind leaving it this way or i could just see this like beautifully set inside the middle of a wreath like how cute would that be um actually i think that's what i kind of might do for a wreath idea now that i'm going through this video with you guys okay so that's the first two signs. The other sign I wasn't gonna get, but when the lady was showing it to me, I was like, oh, okay, it's cute. So I got it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's sunflowers, apple, apple cider harvest. I'm sorry, I cannot read today. Autumn apple cider hayrides, pumpkins, and falling leaves. It's a really cute pattern. This actually reminds me of something my sister would have decorated with in her home back in the 90s. Her home was all sunflowers like everywhere sunflowers you know like when people used to have a theme well i guess we kind of have that now with farmhouse but people had like their option of their animal like what do you do i do chickens i do ducks like i do hens like my sister's hers was sunflowers so anyways this kind of reminds me of that it has this galvanized metal up here and it's glittered i bet you could easily like remove that and do something with it i don't know um, but I picked one up. I liked how it was kind of like wiggly ship lappy. So there's that. All right. Next up, two super cute, super cute and adorable um, signs that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I know like some of you ladies who are crafter, crafters who do wreaths, I think you guys probably would have your fill or like be in heaven because if you make wreaths and put like the plaques and the signs in the middle these are super cute so Dollar Tree has these metal signs or I'm sorry wooden signs 
that say happy harvest. They have the blue truck, super cute, and they have the red truck. Now these are the two signs that I saw at Hobby Lobby, yes, for like $10 or $15 in the exact same sign is at the Dollar Tree. It's just a tad smaller and the Hobby Lobby version is metal, okay? But like, I'm not even kidding, like the mud on the back here is the exact same at Hobby Lobby. So don't spend a ton of money to decorate your home. Just go get the Dollar Tree version. Like, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. You do what you want, you do you. All right, moving on, I picked up a couple of pumpkins to put in a wreath. These are the ones that are on a clip, so they're super cute. And then I'm like reaching for everything. Um, this is a wood stake sign that goes into your yard outside. It says family, friends, and then obviously like this glittered football. I really like it the way it is. I might leave it, but if I don't, I'll definitely let you know. Last year I did a DIY with some pumpkins, copying a Hobby Lobby um, design. I think a couple of people did last year the exact same thing. And so I will link that video down below if you wanna see that because you can easily recreate that with um, some Dollar Tree items. And that's actually with using the famous Dollar Tree pumpkin that everyone used last year. Now this is a pumpkin that was like a big pumpkin that they had last year that was kind of new. This is a pumpkin shape, but when I'm looking at the apple shape, if you look at the back, you could easily do this as an apple. You just kind of have to be careful like how you would paint it if you can't find the apple, um, because it will look more pumpkin-y than apple, but the shape is definitely doable to be used. Okay, moving on to the last bit of the signs that I got. I got this door hanger. Um, I don't plan to keep this door hanger the way it is. I do plan to do something else with the pumpkins. I'm not so sure about the footballs, but I do like how it says family, friends, and football on it. Here, let me see if I can get it, there we go. So how cute is this? Family, friends, and football. It's pumpkin football, pumpkin. And yeah, super cute. It has glitter on it. I'm not a fan of glitter in the fall, um, but you know, it's what it is. Then I picked up this super cute sign. Um, I picked it up mainly for the shape of it to use as like a shiplap sign. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put this out for fall but I liked the shape of it, so I collect some of the signs to use for future DIYs. Give thanks, happy harvest, gather together, blessings are welcome, and Thanksgiving. Super cute. You could also put this inside of a larger wreath, so there's that sign. Um, then I picked up these two beautiful signs. I love them. I love that they were just square. They could be used as plaques or for other future DIYs. I picked them up. Um, this right here, these colors, I'm in love with for fall. Friends gather here. I just love the greens and the beiges that are in this sign. So, super cute and it's rustic, like the paint on it. I love that. And then this one actually does remind me of Thanksgiving. I'm kind of tangled here, hold on. All right, and it says, thankful, grateful, and truly blessed. Now, I said I wasn't a fan of the glitter, but I really like how this all comes together on this sign. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna change this one. But I do love the wood pattern that they have going on in the background. The flowers are not too, too bright. And this one all together is a very nice sign. It's a very nice size. This one is super cute. I'm in love with that one too, so I picked it up. And then this last one I mainly picked up because of the shape of the um, cardboard or whatever you call this, this chipboard. And it is a Harvest Blessings. And I think this one was out last year. There is no glitter on this one and the Harvest Banner is 2D. So either you would have to leave it on and work around it or just leave the sign as is. But it's got that wood barnyard look on it and the pumpkins are Gorgeous. I probably should have picked up a few of those because of the shape of it. I love the shape of this sign. Super cute. All right, last few things for fall that I picked up. 
I did go back. They did have more of these Buffalo Check Thankful Signs, which I showed you in my last video. So I picked up two of them because I have a DIY that I'm going to do with them. I'm going to keep one on display with it as is, and then I'm going to DIY the second one. So stay tuned for that. The last few things I've picked up, they're not new to Dollar Tree for fall, but I wanna go ahead and show them to you anyways because they are out. Um, it's these felt clothes pins. They're super cute to put with like your kids' things or on your coffee bar or even add to wreaths. So I just picked up one package of those. These metal word signs, they have thankful, harvest, and welcome. So the, the and it's three for a dollar in this bag. They're all three in there. Um, but the welcome one you could easily use for a year-round DIY on one of those signs that I showed you. So this is definitely worth a pickup because you don't have to keep it just related to fall. And then I have a DIY for the famous pumpkin. Now last year, I don't remember the glitter being on the edge, um, but it's on there this year. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I wanted to get these plain, like unglittered, and I didn't see the unglittered ones, and so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, but I only got one, super cute, but if not, they make like cute placemats, right? If you're doing like a table setting or you host for Thanksgiving, that's fun. I picked up some wood shop, uh, wood bird houses. I have a DIY for some things there, and I picked up one more of these. I, I've shown these, I think, before in a different DIY, but I picked up this baby blanket from the baby section. It's not even in the fall section. It's a fleece buffalo check um, baby blanket. I had a DIY idea come to mind with this, so grab one of these if you follow on my DIYs and you wanna see what I do with it because I don't know how much longer these will be there. Um, there was only like two left when I went. So that's all my fall things. I don't think I'm gonna do another fall haul video. I might do one for Christmas coming up if that's something that you wanna see. Um, but now I'm just gonna go into doing my projects and sharing those videos with you. And once I get my home decorated fully for fall, I'm Today. Bye.